studies talk about DVT and its signs and symptoms, treatment, adverse effects, and also some health promotion parts of it. We'll also be talking about Deltepin, why it's used, adverse effects of it, and how to administer the drug. Hi, I'm Kafia. I'll be one of the nurses today discussing what DVT is, signs and symptoms to look out for, risk factors. Hi, my name's Van, and I'll be going over the use of Deltepin and how it works in the body. Hi, my name is Lena and I'm one of the community nurses. I will be teaching our client on medication and administration of Daltaprin. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm playing the part of the client, Richard. I'm going to be playing Richard's daughter and I'm also going to be discussing the adverse effects of this drug. Our scenario is Richard, a 63 year old man, was admitted for numbness and pain in his right leg. Upon further investigation, he was diagnosed with DVT, or deep vein thrombosis. He was prescribed deltaprin, 5,000 units, subcutaneously daily. You are the nurse teaching how to self-administer this medication. Hey dad, how did your doctor's appointment go? Oh, that stupid doctor diagnosed me with something called he called it DVT. I don't know what it stands for. Um, deep vein threm throbbing or something. Oh, okay. And get, prescribed me some stupid medication. It's called a uh, dal dal p dal dolly dal something. I don't oh, know. Okay. But he gave me a video to watch. Oh, about a it. disc. Yeah. A CD. I, I think it's a case. Oh, what is it called? A cassette tape. Cassette. Um, VHS, um, the brown disc thing. I have no idea. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, let's go watch it then. Okay. This is what the doctor gave you? Yeah. Okay. This is the cassette tape that. Cassette tape? It goes in the Dad. I think. God darn it. I got it. Don't worry. Here, try again. You put it in. There you go. Okay, let's watch it. Yeah, let's watch. If you are watching this video and have already been diagnosed with deep vein thrombosis, you may be feeling anxiety. Hopefully after this video, we'll have some of your questions answered. Deep vein thrombosis usually occurs after the age of 60. Deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot that has occurred in the veins of the lower legs, especially the lower calf. Some of the risk factors of deep vein thrombosis include obesity, smoking, cancer, birth control use in women, and an unbalanced diet. Some of the signs and symptoms of deep vein thrombosis include shiny and tight skin, warm and hard skin to touch, swelling, cramping, redness, and leg pain. Deep vein thrombosis needs to be treated immediately before the clot separates from the site and travels into the lungs. This process is known as a pulmonary embolism. Some of the primary prevention measures of DVT include moving as much as possible and consulting with your doctor about compression socks and anti-blood clotting medications. Since you've been diagnosed with DVT, your doctor has prescribed you Daltepirin, which is an anti-blood clotting agent. Commonly known as Fragmin, Daltepirin is a form of a low molecular weight heparin, which is used in the prevention of DVT. This medication may be used in combination therapy with aspirin for those at risk or who have been diagnosed with DVT. So, how does Daltepirin work? It inhibits the chain of reactions in the body that lead to clotting. As with any other medication, proper administration of the drug is important in making sure that you receive the full effects and proper use. Keep in mind that if you do miss a dose, you must take it as soon as you remember. However, if it is close in time to your next dose, you must skip the missed dose completely and only take the next dose. Do not take any extra with your next dose as this may lead to an overdose. So how is Deltaprin administered, you may ask? It's administered subcutaneously. What is subcutaneous? Subcutaneous is a medical term for under the skin and into the fat tissue. This is your prescribed deltaprin in a vial. 
Keep in mind that it can come in a pre-filled syringe ready for you when you need it. This is the syringe you will be using for your subcutaneous injection. Keep in mind the gauge size is always a 25 or 27 gauge. Look for the blue label on the package of your needle. First thing is first, the person injecting the medication will perform hand hygiene. Always keep an al alcohol swab ready to wipe down the site of injection. Once you have unpackaged your syringe, you will draw back the equivalent amount of air to your prescription. Next, you will wipe down your medication and at a 90 degree, insert the needle into the vial. You will then push the air into the vial, flip it upside down, and put your desired amount of medication drawing back slowly to prevent air bubbles. Pull it out. <clears throat> to remove air bubbles, you can flick it or draw back and squirt just a little bit. Now you are ready for your injection. The common sites for a subcutaneous injection are in the abdomen, where you would rotate your sites, the outer thigh, or the buttocks. The buttocks is not commonly done though. So let's pretend we are injecting into an abdomen. The first things first, wipe down your site of injection with an alcohol swab. Now a subcutaneous injection can be either inserted at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle depending on how much fat you have around your abdomen. So in this example, we'll be going in with a 45 degree angle. You will pinch the skin like so. Now when injecting the medication, you go at a one, two, three, and fast poke. The insertion of the drug will be slower. So one, two, three. and a quick out. Keep the skin pinched until the end of your injection. Make sure you dispose of your syringe in a sharps container. Please follow your provincial laws of how to dispose of them properly. As with any medication, you may experience some side effects. The side effects of Deltepirin include pain, redness, and swelling at the site of administration. The symptoms previously mentioned are more common. However, if you experience the following symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Unusual bleeding or bruising, dark red spots under the skin or in your mouth, vomiting or spitting up blood and brown material that resemble coffee grounds, blood, bloody or black tarry stool, blood in urine, dark brown urine, excessive menstrual bleeding in females, dizziness and lightheadedness, hives, swelling of the face, throat, tongue, lips, or your eyes, difficulty swallowing or breathing, and all of these are medical emergencies and mu must be dealt with as soon as possible. That was a really informative video, hey Dad? Yeah, I guess so. Did you learn a lot? Um, kind of, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I learned a lot too, actually. Hello, Richard. Who the hell are you? We're your nurses. Now that you've watched our tutorial on Deltepirin and how to administer it, we'd like you to demonstrate for us how to properly administer the drug and what to do in case you do experience any of the side effects. Okay. Dad, what's step one? First, I would wash my hands, wouldn't I? Yeah. And then I would take one of these. What is that? Uh, it's an alcohol wipe. Oh, okay. And I would sanitize this area. The top, top of the vial? Yeah, where I'm going to stab the needle in. Okay. And then I will pull out the needle and pull in air, as much air as I need, the same amount as the medication I put in it. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'd put it in the top. So now are you putting the air inside the vial? Yeah, right? Yeah, no, that's correct. And then I pull it out. As much as you need now for the medication. Yeah. Okay, perfect.
and make sure there's no air bubbles. Any air bubbles? Whoa, oh, okay. No air bubbles. Oh, I can see. And then I would sanitize. Because we're pretending this is your abdomen, right, Dad? Yeah. Okay. The part of the skin I was putting it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Yep. And then I'd pinch the skin. And what angle is it again? Well, since you had all that pizza earlier, it's probably a 90. You got some chubs going on. <laughs> Love you. And then I inject it quickly and slowly. Inserting the medication right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks about right. And then pull it out quickly. Be careful. And then I put the needle away. Yeah, good job, Dad. Awesome job, Richard. Now that you know how to administer the drug, can you list off some signs and symptoms? Um, wouldn't it be if I get unusual bleeding or bruising? Yes. Or when I go to the bathroom, if the stool is bloody or if my urine's bloody? Exactly. Or if I'd get some hives, mm -hmm. then I'd have to call 911? Yes, exactly. Good job. So can you tell me some of the normal Ooh. reactions of this medication? Um, uh, the swelling or redness at the site of injection is normal, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't have to call 911. Yeah. Good job, Dad. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, guys. You've Good been job. great help. I know. <laughs>